Alice McColgan, congratulations with the silver medal. What a way to go. Yeah, I'm so happy. I think every time I come into these championships, I sort of always run other people's races and I always sort of get out kicked at the end. And today I thought, do you know what? Just run your own race. My mum said to me, you're strong, you're running PBs, so just go out there. And if, if you run 15 minutes and you come eighth, then who cares? You ran a fast race. So that was my plan today. And to get, come away with the silver after being ranked second, I'm, I'm over the moon, like I can't, can't believe it. You have a sub-15 as your PB and you were running around 303, 301 yeah. and it looked like it felt comfortable. Yeah, like I knew that I could run 72 pace, 15 minutes and, and or just outside and, and feel good doing it and that was my plan was to run at a pace I felt comfortable at and then over the last sort of three laps really kick because I am faster than a 1500, but it's a different kind of speed. I can't, I don't have that acceleration that some of the other girls, like maybe Klosterhof and have, the 1500 girls. So I knew that I would have to do have a long run from home, but I could, I can get there. It just takes me a little while to get going. So in that last lap, I knew that I had, I, I felt fast, I felt in control. And yeah, I'm just really happy to, to finish strong and to be so close to my PB, I can't ask for any more. Going into the last K, they, they really speed it up, but then going into the last lap, something strange happened in the front, right? It was straight. I mean, to be honest, I just assumed they were picking up because it's 500 to go. So I thought, I felt comfortable and I was waiting for that, that acceleration, that kick. Um, and I was going to wait for those girls to go and then, then follow. But yeah, with about maybe 500 meters to go, they started accelerating. I followed and then they stopped. So I, I have no idea why they stopped and I just thought, God, keep going, like you've got another lap. Um, but I felt so strong, I think it helped me when they moved to start to really get my legs going again, because I'm so tall, it takes me ages. Um, but yeah, to finish second, I, I can't ask for any more, but it was a very, very bizarre race. I think it's one of the strangest races I think I've ever done, but um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I'm all, so happy with my time today. Emotional after a race with your mother, because she's also your coach. It's like now when you won a medal, you're going into a step. Yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing to travel the world and visit the stadiums that my mum's competed in and raced in. And for me, it's always really special to sort of tick off those places. And this is where I ran my 1500 PB last year, and I almost, I just missed my mum's PB. So I was gutted last year, and then to come back again and run another fast time. And it's nice to be uh, following her footsteps. Unfortunately, none of my... Um, are here but um, I can't wait to go and call them and speak to them on the phone they'll be I think they'll all be crying so <laughs>